Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. One of the things I want to talk about today is information. We talk about it a lot with the news. We talk about it a lot with what goes on out there and how you discern information. What I'm noticing though is with the advent of the internet and social media and also the internet is something that everybody can access information from. One of the things I've noticed is there's a lot of misinformation on the internet and the internet sometimes is used to terrorize people, not only bullying people, cyber bullying. I've had several customers that have been attacked literally with internet information that is not accurate about them. I've had this happen myself. And there are terrorist websites out there that I don't believe have negative intentions. However, the information that is on some websites is not positive. And many times we can use these websites against our competition. And I have clients across the country that are in business that can have one disgruntled customer absolutely terrorize them with untruths. And it can come across and really affect their business in a very negative way when it's not even the truth. Also with Facebook and now Google Plus and many of these social networking sites, I know of clients that I have and many other people that I've heard about that have people start spreading rumors, information about them on Facebook that's not necessarily true and literally destroy friendships, marriages, business relationships over just being mean. So the thing today I want to talk about is intentions, your personal spirit and your soul, and what does all this have to do with the internet? If you spread rumors, lies, or contemptuous information about someone else that is not true, even though you may feel like it's true and you're upset about it, the long range outcome that it can create can be disastrous and can hurt a lot of people, not just the person you intend to hurt. If you have someone in your life that you really have to make up to or resolve an issue with, I suggest you contact the person directly and not terrorize them through the internet. If you're jealous about someone in a relationship and you want to break up a relationship, one of the worst things you can do is use Facebook to start terrorizing that independent person because it's going to hurt a lot of other people, even people in your camp as well. You see, once that starts, things really can start going downhill from there. In fact, it can literally tear up a society. And we're seeing that happen daily now. We're seeing misinformation spark anger in people where the half-truths are not even really, really true. And what is true is not even being communicated accurately. In the news, in the press, in advertising, no matter what it is, I've said all along for years now, and on these tune-ups for the last two years or more, when you find information about something or someone that is negative, rather than trust that source, go directly to the person and ask them about it. You're going to find there's two sides to every story. And in the line of professional businesses, people are in business because they're in business to help people. And many times when a competitor puts a business down, and this is rampant in the restaurant business and in the service business, because there's a jealous competitor, and you believe that and can't read through that, shame on you. The internet's a wonderful thing. We use it here at drgary.tv and on my website. However, I've had pot shots taken at me that are untrue, and many other professionals have, and many businesses have, and many restaurants have, and many dealerships have for automobiles just because somebody wanted to hurt them. I ask you today, if you're one of these people that have done this, stop it, because you're probably going to end up, as what goes around comes around, hurting someone you love by doing that. Also, understand, really get into your intentions, and if you really have been hurt by someone, and you really believe that person intentionally wanted to do that, go directly to that person and work it out. The karma is going to be in your favor, 
and also the outcome is going to be in your favor and it's going to help everyone else because it's going to clean up a lot of negative energy. So today, really think about some of these things and even if you're not one of the people that has done this, you're probably being affected by it in one way or another by not seeking help from someone you may have read about and it was somebody else's opinion rather than you deciding for yourself. I believe strongly that all of us have to decide and make decisions based upon what we know, not what somebody else knows. And if you do that, you're going to learn more, you're going to do better, and you're going to be blessed. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you not to believe everything you read, see, or hear until you hear it from the original source and then discern your own information. Until tomorrow, I'm wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.